Vote 2024. Now that Florida's legislative session is over, all eyes are on Governor DeSantis. Yeah, he has said that he plans to decide whether to run for president in 2024 relatively soon. News for Jack's reporter Brianna Andrews is live this morning. Brianna, the governor does not appear to be in any rush, though, to make an announcement, even though some of his movements look like he might. On Friday, while wrapping up the end of the state legislative legislative session, DeSantis disregarded or rather shrugged off concerns about uh, why he's taking so long to announce whether he's going to run for president. He says that doesn't bother him. We'll get on that relatively soon. I mean, there's just, you know, you either got to put up or shut up on that as well. So, so we'll see. Former President Donald Trump and his allies already treating DeSantis as if he's already a candidate. Make America Great Again, Inc., a Trump-aligned super PAC, has spent about $8.6 million on ads going after DeSantis. And current GOP primary polls show Trump leading DeSantis by a healthy margin. A super PAC supporting DeSantis never backed down, spent more than $10 million on ads over the past few weeks surpassing more than $9 million in total in spending from the super PAC supporting Trump, MAGA Inc., according to Ad Impact, which tracks political advertising. Almost all of the $10 million spent went towards positive ads running nationally and in early nominating states. The ads highlight DeSantis' family story, his handling of the pandemic, and his criticism of what he calls the woke mob. This week, according to the Washington Post, DeSantis is meeting with dozens of wealthy fundraisers at the Florida governor's mansion. Outside of connecting with donors, DeSantis' allies are seeking to introduce him to Republican primary voters on more personal and favorable terms. This comes after visiting several important early primary states and an international tour, all trademarks of a politician preparing to launch a presidential campaign. DeSantis was in Wisconsin Saturday. So what's the good news? The good news is the state of Florida and what we've achieved shows Republicans can win again. And if DeSantis does announce to run for president, lawmakers have cleared the way for him to run uh, without resigning. His travel records would also be protected. Reporting live, Brianna Andrews, Channel 4 the local station.